you love decoding my messages <laughs> that's some fun yeah shit. i can't write man i can't write I'm just, just, just saying y'all know that shit i want to try to be mean right i'm sorry damn spank that ass something shit <laughs> anyway <laughs> he needs to try to bring his butt out here i've been telling Maybe you that. If you tempt him enough with it i've been telling ron that for almost a year now ron you come on just come on and visit man come on let's go yeah Anyway, back to your news. What you got? Um, so I was telling you a little bit about this this morning, but um, so porn star <laughs> Stormy Daniels, <laughs> who stated that she had sex with President Donald Trump, filed a lawsuit Tuesday seeking to invalidate a nondisclosure agreement that was signed days before the 2016 president election which prevented her from discussing the alleged sexual encounters. The lawsuit states that the agreement is null and void and of no consequence because Trump didn't personally sign it. His attorney did. The agreement was signed October 28th to 16. She stated, she states, excuse me, she began an intimate relationship with Trump in 2006 uh -huh. and it ended in 2007 mm -hmm. when, you know, which Trump was married to Melania in 2005. So, I'm sure she's not taking that news very well. No, and for that story right there, I have to play this for Mr. Trump. <laughs> Come on, quit buffering, asshole. Sorry, here it comes. Are you playing the slut bus? <laughs> no. Welcome to the Dangerous Grounds Network. Hey, guys and gals. Why don't you take your dick beaters off the video games in your phone and listen to the Dangerous Grounds Network. We play whatever you want over here, baby. <laughs> this is the Dangerous Grounds Network. Let's get dangerous. 
Just saying, I had to play it for the man. <laughs> I don't ever play that motherfucker ever. <laughs> but you know, <clears throat> that was appropriate. Poor Melania. She already, like I said, she, I've, I've already seen videos and stuff where she slaps his hand away and makes faces when he's not looking. Um, I think she's probably fed up with him. I yeah. think she was fed up with him before he became president. Now she's probably really fed up with oh, him. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, and and it might be for a reason, though, too. You know, they might not be getting as much family time as they used to because, I mean, he works all the time. There's not really a day off for him. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure he does take time off and spend time with his family and stuff, but he's, oh, my God, just wrapped up in so much right now. It ain't funny. Yeah, and she's expected well, to do some things Well, this was before he was a president too, so. Oh well. He probably did all kinds of stuff that he probably had all kinds of disclosure agreement or non-disclosure agreements signed before all that. This is probably the only one that came out there. You know that that happens though. You you when you have men in power like that, they they usually have something on the side going on. Sad to say it, but it's true. Yeah, um, or it's not as hard for them to order something per se and yeah yeah you know, i mean you don't have to worry about it being cops or somebody showing up your door i'm pretty sure it's it's there for what it is and why not go to a porn star you know yeah. hey, babe, she, I, she, she knows what she's doing but I she's heard, probably asking yeah, for that money they protection she probably got paid too the same oh, i bet she did a lot too <laughs> Um, I hope they for protection at least. Gosh, shit. What's protection? I'm picking. <laughs> no, for real, for real. Gee, wouldn't that be something? The next news story come out. Trump has herpes or something. <laughs> that would be great. Lord have mercy. That's what you get for fooling around, folks. I'm just saying. Just saying. That's what happens when you're not fucking committed in a relationship. You know, nah. I can't say that I've never cheated on anybody, but I did go through a period in time where I wasn't asking people if they were my boyfriend. Or, you know, I asked them if they were my girlfriend, you know what I'm saying? And I wasn't their boyfriend. You know, they just kind of talk, shit happens. And I guess I should have made myself more fucking clear. Like, look, <laughs> I didn't ask you to be in a relationship. You know, this is right after I got out of Germany. So, it wasn't many, but still, people got pissed off. You know, it's like, what? I never said that we were going out. Did you ever ask me if we were a couple? I'm just saying. <laughs> Make yourself clear. I don't do that shit nowadays. I ain't done that in a long fucking time. But, I mean, people are like that, though. Some people just don't care. I go out there and just tap whatever they tap. And, well, people are nasty. Tell me. Mm -hmm. Sleep with one person, you sleep with everybody they've ever slept with. Just saying. <laughs> Think about it like yeah. that. So this uh, yeah. so this manager at McDonald's kicked out a custom two customers. One was a homeless man, and one was the dude that bought the homeless man something to eat. And they went and sat down in a restaurant and ate. And the manager came out and kicked the man out because he was homeless. I was like, "What the fuck? That's bullshit." Well, yeah, that's my stuff. But that reminds me of something. Um, me and me and Mo, we were at this. Uh, we were at McDonald's one morning, and there was this guy out there asking for money, right? And we were like, "Well, we didn't have any money. We were paying with the debit card, but we bought him a biscuit and took it out to him." He was like, "No, I don't want the food." <laughs> yeah, I was yeah. like, hmm, "All right, well, yeah, make sure that. I remember your face because you'll never get a dollar from me." And, you know, and I've done that. You know, I've helped people out like that, but I've always went up and asked them first, like, "Hey, man, you want something to eat? I'll get you something to eat." I was like, but I ain't giving well, you no money. And they, I haven't ran whole, into one yet that's denied it. Well, my whole thing is he did deny it. And, like, if you're that hard up, even if you're not hungry mm -hmm. at the time, you would take the biscuit and put it up for later. For you know sure. what I mean? Because you don't know if you're going to get where your next meal's going to be. Yeah. You know what I mean? If you're really struggling, you would take that biscuit and put it up and eat it later. But you just now, flat out, no, nah, I don't want it. So, where, yeah. where I stopped giving people cash was back in 2002, getting off Cox Road, coming from 85 South. I got off, 
Gave the dude 10 bucks. Motherfucker ran across the highway intersection right there beside the gas station. Jumped mm-hmm. in the BMW and left. I was like, yep, won't never fucking do that again. <laughs> like, yeah, you want something to eat? I'll get you something to eat. But. You can almost not stop at any gas station in Gastonia and not have somebody ask you for something. And it's it's ridiculous. You know, like I used to always try to to help people and stuff. And I'm, yeah. you know, if it, if it seems like they really need it, I'll still try to do it. But it's like situations like that made me think twice about it. Cause I'm like, if you're really struggling, you would put that up and save it for later. Or, yeah. um, yeah. even if you didn't want it now. And I, agree. I don't know. I've had so many, I had a guy yesterday ask me for some money for some diapers. He said he ran out of diapers and he was like, or do you have a diaper? And I felt bad. Like, I was like, no, my kids are grown, sorry, and I didn't have any cash on me, but, you know, I was thinking if they would have had some diapers in the gas station, I would have got him some diapers, but, um, because he flat out asked, well, do you have a diaper, you know, yeah. he's like, I just, I live in Greens- Greensboro, and, like, we are flat out of diapers, and I felt bad for him, but... Yeah. I didn't have the cash on me, and I was at a convenience store, and they didn't have diapers there, but... You got your honest people. Know. You got your honest people about it, but I just, I'm, I'm not, I need food or I'm not good. I'm not, <clears throat> but you know that there are, there are places for people to get help though too. I mean, that's, that's, yeah. that's something, you know, I had a guy come up to me. He said he claiming to be a 17 year vet. I told him, I was like, dude, if you want help, I'll take you to the VA right now. We'll go get you somewhere to lay down, get you some food, get, you know, Started getting you some help, and he kept refusing. All he wanted was, said he wanted seventeen dollars for some medicine. I was like, dude, if you go to the VA, then you don't pay for medicine. He goes, right. oh, well, this is my wife's medicine. I was like, she shouldn't either, if she's getting it from the VA. But uh, I told him, you know, if you want to help, I take him right up there. Because if you're a vet, period, and you got that blue card, you're claiming you got that blue card. You're not homeless. I had to just go up to the VA and be like, look, I ain't got shit. And they will put you up. And, you know, try to offer that dude that. And he just, nah. And he got $20 off one dude. And the entire time I was in the parking lot because I made a phone call too. He got $20 off a dude right after he talked to me. And he was still walking mm-hmm. up and down the fucking things asking people for shit. For money, was, yeah. And it's it, and that's what sucks about it, because like I said, that's what kind of made me not want to to help. You know, like I still if I have like change in my car, or I see like firefighters out on the side of the road with you know their fire hats, say getting money for that stuff like that. Stuff mm-hmm. I know is legit. I'll definitely give what I have. Um, and if yeah. I have some change in the car and I see a homeless person, you know, on the side of the road and ask for. I'll give them my change, you know, I'll give them what, you know, but I'm not going to sit here and give you dollars and stuff like that. If I don't know, you know, cause that's taking money away from my kids that, that, you know, I work hard for and it just, it sucks. Cause there may be some people that really, really need it. But you know, if, if, if I'm sitting here offering you something and you refuse it, just like that guy did to you, then it just kind of makes you leery of like, What's it really for? You know, you're, you want to go buy your illegal medicine, you know? like Right. I, nah, I don't know. I feel you. <laughs> hey, he's a lot of illegal medicine floating around this motherfucker, too. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah I just, that's true. I, have, I have to say it is better than Greenville, though, because that motherfucker is iced out. Holy really? shit. Yes, it's bad. It's bad. Nobody smokes weed. Nobody snores coke. Everybody smokes ice. I'm just like, wow. Yeah. What the fuck is wrong with y'all? Because, I mean, you talk, and it's just like you, you find old friends, you talk to them for like a day or so, then they disappear for a couple of days. It's like, yeah. where the fuck you been, dude? You all right? No, I've been chilling, man. I've been chilling. No, they've been knocked out. You know, them motherfuckers, mm-hmm. one of my old friends, girl could stay up for three weeks. And she crashed, and she crashed for like four days. It was a...